Hello there and welcome to a rainy Aberdeen Airport. Today we're here to take a flight on EasyJet, on EasyJet's longest route out of Aberdeen to Geneva. Let's go. Aberdeen to Geneva, for those who don't know, is EasyJet's longest route from Aberdeen Airport. Arriving mid-morning at Aberdeen Airport, I arrived just in time for the check-in opening for our flight. This route to Geneva is mainly used for skiing holidays in the Alps, and is only run seasonally. As check-in was going on, I decided to try and beat the queue at security by heading straight through while the rest of the passengers were still at the check-in desk. Once through security, it was clear I made the right call. As air aside, it was very quiet. So yeah, as I mentioned in voiceover, this flight is usually used for EasyJet in the winter as a seasonal flight for the skiing. I'm not going skiing, I just want to get on the flight, but that's what it's used for. With the flight board being quite clear today, it doesn't seem like the airport will be too busy at all this morning. With a bit of time to spare, I decided to grab a coffee and find a decent spot to wait for our flight. It's hot. Got my coffee though. Soon, while having my coffee, our aircraft and the other EasyJet flights from London began to arrive. Our aircraft today is this A220 operated by EasyJet Switzerland. As it was getting close to boarding time, the terminal did get much busier and we made our way to the boarding gate. As I was heading out to the aircraft, a Vidaro flight from Bergen was readying for departure. As you can probably tell, the weather at Aberdeen Airport today simply isn't the best. Once settled in, I discovered I had the holy grail of economy travel, a complete road to myself. After the other passengers were settled in, we had our safety demo and were pushed back from the gate. Taking off out of Aberdeen Airport into a very rainy sky, we were about to head through quite a large weather front, causing a fair amount of turbulence, as you'll see. Once well above the clouds, we turn south towards Geneva. Flight time today should be around two and a half hours. I will admit, the cloud formations were stunning. Soon we got the buy on board service. I went for a margarita pizza, Pringles and a coffee.
passing out over the English Channel, I decided to try and get a bit of shut eye. But I was woken again, as the crew decided to come round with a second drink service. I went for another coffee. I suppose they must have had the time, considering the flight wasn't busy at all today. After my coffee, it was time to begin our approach into Geneva. After landing into a snowy Geneva, it was a short taxi out to our remote stand where a bus would be waiting to take us to the main terminal. I really do love the large windows in the main terminal building at Geneva Airport that allow you to see all the goings on on the tarmac. Our flight today cost a total of £28 one way, which really isn't bad value for money in my opinion. After getting through Swiss customs, it was getting late and time to head to our hotel. But anyway, what did you think of the flight with EasyJet out of Aberdeen? I thought it was a good flight. Um, it's actually a different division of EasyJet. It's a sub-company, um, EasyJet Switzerland. EasyJet, as you may know, be, is divided into several different companies. But uh, yeah, need to go find the train now. Okay, I've got a ticket. Now I need to find out where exactly I'm going. The train station at Geneva is located underground and is very simply designed, with all trains heading into Geneva before heading on to onward destinations. After doing my civic duty and helping a passenger with her luggage, I got settled in for a very comfortable short ride into Geneva. Ah, on board now, a very nice train. Looks like this is us. Right. I've got no phone signal to find the hotel now. Now I need to find it the old fashioned way. 
Fortunately, I'm pretty good at these things, or I like to think I am. So, uh, let's uh, go find the hotel. Hotel Crystal. Right. It's November. Let's get out of the station, then we should be fine. I think I know where I'm going then. Okay, so what I did was just went and found a map. Perfect, easiest, know where I'm going now, kind of. See, how good am I? There it is, Hotel Cristal. Now apparently it's meant to be like a boutique hotel, they've got like their own style, so let's go check it out. I am a bit of a sucker for a Mustang, especially left hand drive ones. As it turns out, the hotel wasn't very far from the train station at all. 109, which is right here. Hard doing this one handed. Right, let's have a look at this room now. Wow. It is quite different. Got like a window on all sides and the, the beds here and there's a telephone. Makes it look like the room goes on. But it's just mirrors everywhere. Ah, right, there we are. Nice and relax now in the hotel. Let's check out the bathroom though. Very nice sink. But that is the best part. A shower, a walk-in shower. This is getting used tonight. It was a wee bit of a faff trying to find the hotel without any signal or any maps or anything, but I eventually found an information office in the train station um, and got a map. Yeah, oh, that's just the way it goes when you don't have signal and you're in a country that doesn't have roaming um, connected to the EU. But anyway, what did you think of this video? What did you think of EasyJet Switzerland from Aberdeen to Geneva? Personally, I thought it was great. Um, very similar to every other EasyJet flight we've been on, but yep, yeah, it was great. Um, it wasn't a full flight either, and we got a whole row to ourselves, so that was good. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think of this hotel, let me know what you think of the flight, and tomorrow we're gonna go around Geneva and find something to do. Um, I'm gonna go find something to eat just now, um, and then I'm gonna hit the hay for tonight to get up nice and early to make a video around Geneva for you guys. Anyway, if you like this video, people, please let me know in the comments below. And if you did like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. It helps out a lot. And as always, people, we will see you all in the next one.